CWA provides a lot of experiences for people. Um, again, you can read a textbook, but until you actually experience it, especially on the hunting side, it just doesn't stick. When I first started at CWA, fresh out of college from UC Davis, you know, John Eady was my waterfowl professor um, while I was there. I had the, uh, the great fortune of getting to work with Paul Bonderson at Birdhaven Ranch. We were talking about what other things do we need to do, to, again, to protect our interests as, as waterfowl hunters. And while I was at school, and I think others share this experience, it was textbook heavy theory, right? You, know, you just read a lot of words about how things should be, but little practical experience, little knowledge about what's happening in the field. My name is Paul Bonderson, and I am the owner of Birdhaven Ranch up here in the uh, Upper Butte Basin of uh, the Central Valley of California. We're about uh, 25 miles south of uh, Chico, right on Butte Creek. This ranch is actually three ranches put back together. Then uh, I bought the first portion of this ranch in 2001. It's about 640 acres. It was one section of land. And I started working with CWA and figured out that I needed a lot more land to do what I wanted to do. And so that next year I purchased the 1,550 acres behind us and five or six years later, another 280 acres to the north of us uh, came up for sale. So we have contiguous here about 2,500 acres of land, of which 1,500 acres has been converted back to uh, natural habitat, both uh, managed wetlands and riparian uh, forests. So there's 1,500 acres of that and about 1,000 acres of rice uh, here on the property. College camp is with the um, University of California at Davis. And one of the people I was working with was John Eady, who is the raveling chair. Uh, he's a waterfowl biologist. And uh, John came to me and said, it'd sure be nice if we could have a, a camp and teach some of these people what, it, what it's all about to hunt. And I said, done. Hi, I'm uh, John Eady. I'm a professor at the University of California, Davis in the Department of Wildlife, Fish and Conservation Biology. So this started actually the impetus for this. Our students were coming from a very different experiential background. So more and more our students were coming from Oh, either from a more urban versus a rural environment. They didn't have backgrounds in fishing and hunting. Uh, they liked the outdoors because they were in wildlife, um, but they didn't have any of that sort of real world experience and they didn't have any familiarity with hunting, with guns. And I do a survey, for example, I do a survey in my waterfowl class that I teach every year and uh, found out about only 25% of students in a waterfowl class, which is a professional specialized course. You know, it's not a general ed course. Only about 28% of them had ever hunted, uh, maybe only 35% had ever fished, and realized that they just hadn't had the opportunity. You know, they hadn't experienced that. So you're going to get kids, you know, graduating from, you know, we're Davis is the top program in the country. Actually, we were ranked number one. And yet you've got kids graduating from this program that had never hunted or fished, and we're going to go into agencies and NGOs where they're working with hunters, they're working with fishers, they're working with other uh, agencies and organizations, and they had no familiarity. We're missing a key part of their education. They're coming through as wildlife majors without any background in this, and it's not their fault. They just haven't, the door hasn't been opened. We select students that have generally never hunted or you know, they don't come from families that have hunted. I mean, I remember taking one girl out that was, you know, from LA, um, no idea. And you throw them into the marsh, just like when I was an eight-year-old. My dad threw me on his back and took me out there. Um, it's an experience, good, bad, or otherwise, it's an experience, and, it, and that sticks with you. And in this camp, they, they see the passion and the love that all of us have for the marsh. You can see that it opens their eyes about what a duck hunter is. I grew up with very negative opinions of hunting. Um, and 
I didn't know anything about it. And so I just internalized those as we do. I think when I came to Davis was the first time I realized how much hunting was impacting conservation. And I was like, okay, even if I don't like this, I need to support it because I really like birds and I want them to keep coming back. So um, that was kind of the first time that my opinion started really changing. And then when this camp came about, I thought that the opportunity to learn about hunting um, would be really useful going forward in my career to understand it better. Um, and I was still, I think I still was looking at hunting as specifically going out and shooting an animal, which I think is the main shift that I've had from the online hunter safety and just from being here in the last, what, 24 hours. Um, it's really cool to hear people like Paul Bonderson, who owns Birdhaven, talk about how for him, hunting is going out and observing nature. And then like, if he gets a shot, awesome. And if he doesn't, it was still a great day. And I'm like, wow, that's basically what I do, but just without a gun. So, um, so I think that's been really informative in that way. And it definitely kind of makes me feel like there's less of a gap between like hunters and other people who recreate in nature, um, which I didn't realize before, to be honest. The people who are involved in the hunting here are super, super entrenched in the biology. There's a lot more passion behind it than I originally anticipated. As a whole, like I feel a lot more enthusiastic about hunting um, as a hobby just because the types of people that do it are really great. Um, and really passionate about what they do and it's not just shooting things and that's not the point of the hunt so yeah it, it totally totally flipped my perspective on hunting. Hi my name is Julie Doe I'm the editor of the California Waterfall magazine. I started hunting um, from the college hunt camp that CWA hosted. When I started I was kind of ambivalent about hunting. I didn't know any hunters, had never been out into a marsh, so I didn't really know what to expect. Um, I knew that hunters do a lot for wildlife conservation, but besides the Pittman-Robertson Act, I didn't really know much more than that. After hunting and meeting all the, the people who work here, I could really see how passionate they actually were. It was something that they were really excited to do, and they really wanted to help you know, waterfowl and wetlands. Everyone comes in with a certain idea of what hunters do, and then by the time they leave on Sunday, they really grasp the hunter's role in conservation, where, you know, prior to the event, I think they know hunters are important, but they don't know to the extent. Um, and by that, you know, end of the, the weekend and everyone says their goodbyes, I think everyone really understands um, how important hunters are to wildlife and in conservation. We're not trying to get every one of these students to become a lifelong hunter, but what we are doing and our goal is to expose every one of them to what hunting is all about. It's just amazing seeing the changes. And they often say, you know, I got it intellectually. You know, you guys lecture to us all the time. We know the importance of, of hunting. We know the importance of wetland conservation, but just seeing it. One student wrote sort of, I've never felt more optimistic about, about wetland conservation than after that weekend hunting at Birdhaven Ranch. For me, the college camp is, is the most satisfying thing I, I can say that I have from this ranch. It's a great experience for these kids and um, I'm super proud that we've been doing it for over 12 years now. <laughs> Getting the hang of the job, wouldn't you say? <laughs>